a haul video and I have a bunch of things that I've been collecting throughout the last um, few months since my last haul video and I'm just going to get started. So NYX had come out like on Instagram saying that they were going to have these element palettes. They have fire, I believe ice, metal, earth, and for $30. And I was like, $30? That's a gorgeous palette, but I'm not picking it up for no $30. And then I had actually watched somebody's um, video reviewing it, and I was like, no, I'm not going to get it. It just didn't look that great. So then I went in store, and actually I had gotten an email saying that they were going to be 30% off, and they were in store at Ulta. So I was like, huh, I'm just going to look at it, right? I'm just going to look at it. I'm not going to buy it. Well, I ended up buying it, and I, it is what I'm wearing for the majority on my lids today. And for the most part, I like it, but I'm having a little issue um, with it in my crease. It's not blending the way I would prefer it to blend out in my crease. It's looking a little patchy, but I also think it might be the primer that I've been using. I've been using the NARS primer, and to be quite honest, I don't like it. Like, it's a sample, and I'll be glad to be done with it because I have other primers that I prefer. Where is it? So if you're like on the fence about buying the NARS eyeshadow primer, don't get it. It's, it's awful. It's awful. And I know it's expensive, so don't get it. Okay, so then, so I picked this up, and I believe it was on sale for $20.99, $20.99 from $30. And then I had my $3.50 off, so I got this on sale. Oh, beautiful palette. Um, swatches surprisingly well compared to what I had seen in this person's review. And I got an itch. And um, so I was like, okay, I'll just try it. And if I don't like it, I'll send it back. But I really like the looks that I've been coming up with. I just wish it would blend a little bit better. So I'm going to play with it with another primer and see if that's maybe the issue. <sighs> I picked up this beauty. Well, I had actually picked up the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes Palette. And I did a whole review about it. If you want to watch it, I will link that but um, I had some issues with it. So I sent it back, or actually I took it back, and I went ahead, since I knew I was going to be taking it back, ordered this. This is the Huda Beauty Desert Palette, Desert Dust Palette. It's a gorgeous palette. My friend was asking me if she thought it was worth it, and I said, if you want a dramatic look, because a lot of these are, although it doesn't look very dramatic, it's dramatic because it has a lot of shimmer, um, a lot of these eyeshadows are shimmery, and then you have some glitter eyeshadows, and it, you're just not going to get, you know, you could do a simple, subtle look, maybe just using the top row, but for the most part, it's going to be a very dramatic look. So if you're in the market for something that's a little bit more dramatic and a little bit colorful, this is a really nice palette. It retails for $65. It is on the more expensive side, but it's not as expensive as the Natasha Denona, the, the Lila palette or the Lila palette. It's not as expensive as that. And you're getting a lot of the, you know, the same tone. You're getting those purple tones in this palette. So it's a beautiful palette. Like I said, it's a more dramatic palette. It's just not a subtle palette. It's a dramatic palette. Ulta had their 21 Days of Beauty, and I restrained myself from picking up a lot of things like I, w I could have gotten mascaras, I couldn't got I could have gotten eyebrow stuff, but and I could have gotten some lipsticks, but I kind of waited and I just stayed myself until the very last day and I I picked up three of the Butter London glazes glaze and eye glosses and I picked up one in Unicorn, which is more of a duochrome beautifulness. It's just it's got like. I don't know. It's just got it's got a little bit of glitter in it and it's a lighter. I picked this one to be more of a top coat to anything that I'm wearing if I want to give it more of a dramatic look. I also picked up the one in Frosted. And Frosted is like a rose gold color and it has a little bit of um glitter in it, so it's very pretty also. And these were all half off with the 21 Days of Beauty. And then I picked up, the last one I picked up is called Icing. And this is more of a, a deep bronzy rose gold. So this one is um, probably the most subtle of the three that I picked up. Butter Londons were half off. They're beautiful 
beautiful eyeshadows, but they're kind of a really messy, goopy formula. So it's kind of like you're willing to look past the goopiness because of the gorgeousness that it leaves on you. So don't want to swatch them because it's just kind of a mess and I don't have, you know, um, something to wipe myself up with. So I'm just going to continue on, but just take my word for it. They're gorgeous. Okay, so I did pick up this... Um, I did pick up this Body Shop Foundation. It's called the Matte Clay Skin Clarifying Foundation. I picked this up. I did a full review on it. Let me just tell you, I fell in love. Let me just give you a spoiler. I did a whole wear test and demo and everything. If you want to watch that, I'll link that also. This is a magnificent, awesome foundation for anyone that is oily. You're going to love this foundation. For someone that's drier skin, I don't know. I wouldn't say um, you wouldn't like it. You just need to like a matte look. So because it doesn't give you that whole dried out face. But I'm gonna let you just check out that review because I give you full detail, so many, inf you know, so much information that I, you know, do the whole demonstration and the whole wear test. So if you're interested or you wanna find out about this, then go ahead and check out that video because like I said, I did a whole video on it. Now, ColourPop, I, um, <laughs> I did some damage with ColourPop. I placed several orders with ColourPop. And to be quite honest, I don't know what, what came with what in these, in this ColourPop order, but let me just go ahead and show you. So I picked up the Summer Solstice Quad. I needed the $30 to get it free, and this was like 15 or 16 or 18, I can't remember. And I picked up this quad. It's quite beautiful. Don't know if I'm going to use it or if I'm going to give it away. I, I haven't decided that yet. And because they were late, because it took them forever to get my order out, they sent me this really nice brush. It's a flat shader brush, so thank you very much, ColourPop. I also picked up a bronzer from them, and I hate I hate their packaging because it just says highlighter or bronzer. It doesn't tell you if it you know what the color is. The color is called In It to Win It, and I need to take this little sticker off of this box and put it on my there now I know I don't know why it's so hard for them to just do that you know it'd be so easy for them just to put a sticker on it anyways I picked up this bronzer from them I haven't tried it out because I was waiting to, to take pictures and do a, um, a haul video on it so showing you that picked up this bronzer I believe it was eight dollars so really good price I picked up another one of these um, no filter concealers yesterday when I wore the one that I already own so this is the color in medium and then I picked up what color are you they sent me the wrong color they sent me another medium well crap I already own medium and then they sent me medium I ain't gonna darn it I gotta email them because this is not the color that I ordered I ordered the color above medium so anyways my, my point was I used this yesterday, and by the end of the day, I noticed how cakey I looked underneath. So I need to see if it was the setting powder that I used that made it look so cakey. I don't know. It looked really cakey and really gross underneath my eye, and I've had like a love-hate relationship with it. So I wanted to test out a lighter one just to see because the medium one is, oh, also it uh, oxidizes or dries down darker. And I wanted to get a lighter one to see if it would be more, you know, highlighting because the medium one pretty much matches my skin tone once I apply it and it dries down. That's what Fenty says. Fenty Beauty says it dries down. Okay, so let's see. Um, also from ColourPop, I got this Party of Five Super Shock. This is part of their birthday. Was it the birthday or they reached a milestone on Instagram? And I think they reached like 5 million subscribers or something like that. And you got free items with, you know, your order. So I picked up this Party of Five Super Shock Shadow. Apparently I pressed that I wanted the glossy lip, but I didn't. I wanted the satin lip. I ended up getting the glossy lip, but this was free. So can't really complain. And then um, I bought the Ultra Matte Lip in Moi. Um, it's a beautiful pink color. I also picked up the Ultra Matte and the I Love Sarai, Sarai, Sarahi, Sarai, I don't know how you say her name, and Ariba. So it's a beautiful, um, red. And then I also picked up Sizzle, 
which is a set or no it's also an ultra matte lip so i don't know why i picked up so many ultra matte lips probably because they look so darn pretty but i got a free this is the k-pop virginia i was able to get a free matte is this a matte no free satin lipstick in virginia so this is a really pretty color and got that one for free like i said some of these I made a couple of ColourPop orders, and I don't know what came with what. But I also picked up this shadow, this palette from them. And it's the I Love You, I Think I Love You palette. And it looks pretty, it looks pretty, but it looks kind of like beat up. Like, they I mean, they like, I don't know. It just doesn't, it didn't present well like their other two palettes did. It looks like, like the... The shadows are really pressed and crumbly. I don't know. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades, but I don't know. I just the swatches is what sold me. But looking at it, I'm not I'm not I'm not as impressed in person as I was online. But for sixteen dollars to get a full palette, that's gorgeous. I also picked up, and I got two of these, but I've already put up one of them. This is from Japanesque, and this is their Beauty Sponge. If you have been following me for a while, you know that I absolutely adored their Black Beauty Sponge. It came with two, and my daughter destroyed one of them, which broke my heart. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so when I saw that they had new Beauty Sponges, I jumped on it because it was buy one, get one half off, and I believe I paid $14.99 for two of these. $14.99, maybe $16.99. I can't quite remember. So I ended up getting two of these, and it's it's an amazing, amazing sponge. It's so soft. It got really big. It's it's drying down now. It got really big. It's so bouncy and just lovely. This is part of their Kumadori collection. And like I said, for half the price of the Beauty Blender, you're getting an amazing sponge. I absolutely adore the Japanese sponges. You just can't go wrong with their sponges. So I would highly recommend picking their sponges up because they're amazing. Um, I did pick up two lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are their matte lipsticks and I picked up one in Dead Roses. <clears throat> it's more of a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is Dead Roses and the other one is in uh, rum punch and rum punch is a little bit more red brown. I picked these up and they're Very reminiscent of the retro mattes from Mac So if you like or can stand the retro mattes from Mac, then you will like these if you don't like the retro mattes from Mac You're not gonna like these. These are the same type of formula super dry super thick Stays on your lips for a long time and doesn't feel Over drying in my opinion like they're dry, but they don't um they don't take away the moisture from your lips. Like if you feel like the retro mattes just suck up all the moisture and you just like don't like it, then I don't think you would like these. If you don't mind that formula, then this is the formula or this these lipsticks you would like. And they have a lot of range in this lipstick line, but I kind of picked up two that are kind of similar. And it was funny, I went with my friend Prissy to Ulta, was it yesterday? No, two days ago we went and I swatched Stevie and I was like, oh, look, it's so pretty. Does it look like um, Rum Punch? And she's like, yes, girl, it looks like Rum Punch. I'm like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I, I wanted it so bad. I, I It's because my nickname is Stevie from one of my friends. But anyhow, that's it. I believe I have shown you all my new stuff. I did pick up this. In the nude palette from Makeup Geek, that would probably be my only other acquisition um, because I did take back. And then, of course, I got the Boxy Charms, but you know, you see those posts on Instagram, Boxy Charms, so you pretty much know what happened, you know, what came and who, what, and for Boxy Charm. But I think this is my other newest acquisition. I did take back the Too Faced Just um, Peachy Mattes palette. I took that back. I bought it, took it back. And I think that's it. Yeah, I'm looking and I don't see anything new. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you like me, give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.